All right, so we're going to be making this uh, pencil pot from uh, design class. Uh, this is a really interesting uh, model that we're going to be making because it uh, uses the revolve in a few different ways. Um, for getting our sizes for our profile that we're going to be drawing, um, we need to be looking at the plan. That's got a lot of our sizes in diameter. So when we're going to be drawing half of that, we're going to need to make sure that we are uh, taking these sizes and halving them. Um, and we need to be looking at some of the sizes, like for example, this says 10 degrees. It doesn't actually give you a size there. So that gives you a wee hint on how you're going to make this part. Um, so I quickly made it up uh, earlier. This is the steps that it took. Only a few steps, but it was, uh, goes over some tricky things. First thing we'll be doing is creating this sketch. Then we'll be creating uh, or just shelling it. Then we'll use uh, the revolve tool and then we'll use um, the revolve tool to create the indents and then the circular array tool to replicate them indents all the way around. Also got a fillet in there as well. The fillet hadn't seemed to have taken over when I'd done the array. Need to make sure I click that next time when I do it. So I'm in a new part. I'm going to start a 2D sketch. I'm going to click on this work plane. I'm going to draw my um, profile and I'm going to just draw it all with the line tool. I'm going to draw it on this center axis because it will be handy later on using this center axis to find the center. So I'm going to draw it right on this. I'm going to type in the height of it. The height of it is 150. I've got the drawing up uh, on my other screen there. Uh, you might want to bring up the drawing um, while you're doing this video uh, just to look at the sizes and maybe see where I'm getting them. Uh, the next size I'm going to do is the bottom base. So I'm looking at the plan and I'm looking at the uh, diameter of 90. So I'm going to half that and that's going to be 45. And then I'm just going to click escape. And I'm going to go to my line tool again and I'm going to draw in this top face. So I'm going to look at my biggest size. I'm going to just line it up and I'm just going to type in here 150. It's not going to be 150 though, it's going to be 75 because we're half in all our sizes because it's all going to be doubled when we uh, duplicate it. Uh, drawing this part, you sort of just have to assume the whole thickness is 5. So I'm going to uh, click and draw a vertical line at 15 and then along. This one's going to be 5. Got to do a wee bit of maths for this, so 5 take away 15 is 10. And then this is going to be 5 as well. So I'm barely even clicking, I'm mostly using my keyboard for all this. I'm just clicking, typing in the number, clicking enter, moving my mouse. And then for this one, I'll click. So I'll have a wee look at this, make sure all my sizes, or all my lines are vertical and horizontal. That looks okay. So I'm going to finish my sketch. And I'm going to revolve. And I'm going to click this axis. It selected everything for me there. If it didn't select everything for me, I'd have to go to profile and then select it. If it still doesn't let you select it, that means you've got an issue with your sketch where your lines aren't meeting up. Best thing to do is to just scrap it and try and draw it again, but you can sometimes find what lines you've done incorrectly. So I'm going to click my axis. My axis is going to be that. And I'm just going to click OK. Next step I'm going to do is shell. And I'm going to just click remove face and then click 5. Often I'll see people will shell it, they'll remove 5 and click OK. And they'll try and shell it again not knowing they have actually shelled it. If you need to edit your shell you can double click and you can click remove faces and remove that top face. Now the tricky bit, we're going to be starting a sketch and it was important that we started our sketch right on that origin because we're then going to use that to create our second sketch. I'm also going to change the view just so it's a wee bit easier for me to see. I'm going to just change it to a wireframe and this lets me see right through the object and just see the important lines. I'm going to go back to my sketch and I'm going to click project geometry and I'm just going to select this line. I'm then going to go to my rectangle tool and there's a few different rectangle tools that we can use. Um, I'm going to be using my three point rectangle tool to get this rectangle right on this angle so that I don't need to dimension or work out any sizes. I've already got that angle, so I'm just going to use it. 
and then I'm going to dimension this into place. I was having some issues with dimensioning this earlier where it was clicking here and here and it'll give you an angle. That's not what we want. We want to click the dimension tool and we want the size. So that'll create a size for us. And this size is 10. I'm going to take from this distance to here and this is going to be 130. And then this size in here doesn't quite tell my size on the drawing so I'm just going to assume it's halfway I'm going to put 2.5 because our thickness is 5 have we look at it again everything's purple so that means everything's dimensioned and in place and I just need to finish my sketch now initially what I thought I was going to be doing is extruding it but this is actually still a revolve so what I forgot to put in there as well is an axis so I'm just going to go back edit this sketch I'm just going to put in an axis for this to spin around. I'm just going to click there. Finish my sketch. Revolve. My profile is going to be this shape. My axis is going to be this line. And this is going to be my angle. And I'm going to make this 10%. Your revolve tool might look a wee bit different to mine, depending on what version of Inventor you're using. So I'm using 2019. So this is maybe a wee bit different for you, dependent. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click cut and that's going to cut that shape out and it's going to cut it out at this curve on that angle. Now I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to do my fillet. It's good to do your fillet beforehand. If you tried to do it afterwards you'd be clicking on loads of different lines. So it's good to do it before you do any sort of array. And I'm going to make this 3, I'm going to click OK, I'll we check of it, and now we can use the circular array tool. Now there is a circular array tool in the sketch tools, but that won't work for a 3D object like this, we need to be in our 3D modeling commands. So we're going to use circular, again yours might be a wee bit different, you might just see the actual tool um, without the text, you might just see the tool icon. So the feature that I want to duplicate is this and I also want to duplicate the fillet as well. So I forgot to click that the first time, remember there. And then the rotational axis is going to just be any circle on that axis that we'd created. So any of these work. And how many it is, it tells us in the drawing that there is 20. I'm going to click OK. And that's us done. We go back to view, visual styles, realistic. shaded with edges and that's our part okay so that's quite a tricky one just got to remember when you're doing a revolve that you're making sure you're putting in your axis you're selecting your face and you're just double checking all your sizes don't be scared to just delete it all and try again it's probably the best thing to do